Hello everyone, it's Lisa here. I just mixed up some resin. Today I'm using uh, Moz tabletop resin. I find it works uh, quite nice for the flowers. I've been having better luck with it. So I'm going to use that. Um, I will put a top coat on these afterwards of stone coat countertops because that will allow me to be able to place hot items on top of the coasters um, because it has its heat resistance, which I really like. So today I am going to attempt to make some pansy coasters. I'm just going to do two out of these four. And this mold I got from Molds and Shapes in the Netherlands. I really like it. Um, it's not too, too deep like um here like these ones here i had these round ones before but they're quite deep and um and, and i don't like sanding so i don't like to use them very often but um these ones here are not that deep and they work just great um they're a great quality mold highly recommend them okay so Right now, I've said, I've just got my resin mixed up here. So I'm going to pour some in the two coasters. Add a bit more. And then I'm going to be making three colors. I'm going to be making the purple, the yellow, and white as well as um, a center with some gold glitter okay so i'm just going to give them a little bit of a zap with my heat gun on low just to get rid of some of those bubbles I did turn it up, but I have a very low heat on in there, and I'm moving it around quite a bit. Um, and I just wanted to turn it up to, to move the resin around because I see it hasn't quite gone to this side yet. I may, there, now it's hitting the edge. And I like to go around the edges anyways with this just to hopefully get any bubbles that might be stuck in the edges. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more resin into the one. It does feel a little less deep. Okay, and now I'm going to add some resin into my cups for the colors. Okay, I just need a little teeny tiny bit for the center. Hardly putting anything in this one. And this is, um, just some gold glitter that I got off uh, wish.com. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to need very much. That should be enough. And then okay, we'll use this 
So I, I don't even have like a quarter of a cup in there, maybe a quarter cup. Okay, give them a little shake. And I'm gonna put, I'm not sure, I can't remember if I mentioned that I saw Kathy LaPierre do this. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to try and do like her video on YouTube. I'm sorry, I just can't remember if I mentioned that. So I wanna make sure to give her credit for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I think I got nine. That should be good. Actually, I think I could go a little bit darker. Three more drops in there. I'm still seeing lots of bubbles in here, so I'm going to hit it with my isopropyl alcohol, 99%. Okay, there's the yellow. And now I'm gonna do the purple. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I got seven. Okay, this is a lot darker than the yellow. I may end up adding some more to the yellow. Although, now that I'm mixing it up, I'm seeing that the cup is, a lot of it is just the outside of the cup. So, yeah, it's nice and dark, but I like that, so. Okay. And then the white. So I will be piping the white. So I need more than what I used with the others. Still probably only have about a third of a cup there and I think that will be in lots for two. And, oh, I didn't tell you the colors. These were both pinata and the purple is purple or passion purple. And the yellow is sun bright yellow, pinata alcohol ink. And my white is Armor Art, um, and I've got the Easy Flow bottle, which is great if you've ever tried it without the Easy Flow. I'm getting a pretty good squirt, probably like two, two squirts. And then I'm gonna put a couple drops of the Pinata Blanco Blanco, which is white. I'm going to start with purple on the top. Just take out my stick. So, put, um, actually, let me just have a look for those bubbles. This one's looking pretty good. This one definitely needs more. Let's give it a second. All right, so. I should have caught the first one, but I did catch the second one. Okay.
Okay. I'm put a little bit more in here. I'm just about out. I will get my stick going. See, this is a little clear in the center, which I didn't really want. So I'm going to mix that up a little bit. And over here, add a little bit more, get them a little bit closer. Can't remember if they were touching or not on the video. All right. I'm not really trying to make them into circles, but I'm just trying to get rid of any uh, weird edges. So I think I'm good with that. All right, and next is going to be the yellow. And I'm just gonna put some in and see what color it looks. Yeah, I think I could go darker than that for sure. Okay. I've just kind of put a big squirt in. Didn't really count drops that time. Let's see, there's something in my cup. It's disappeared now. All right. Just giving it a good stir. All right. Let's pour these. And the same thing. Just put in two big blobs in the bottom here. And then just a little bit in the center so there's not a big gap. Okay. And then I haven't done my gold yet. My gold center. And it's thickened up quite a bit, so I actually might need to mix up a little bit more, but I'll see how this goes. Okay. It's quite thick. Oh boy, I'm moving my purple. There, it went back. Okay, I'm not going to play with that anymore. Okay, and I do have a little bit of yellow left, and I think I will just use it to kind of fill in some of this area. We'll see how it works. All right. Okay. 
Now, this hasn't really thickened up or warmed up at all. I was kind of waiting for it to warm up a little bit. So I will just get my cup ready for the piping bag. I can see that there's bubbles on top again, so I'm gonna give it another spray. Okay, and put my white into the bag. Gonna keep it in there for a little bit and I have a little bit of resin left I don't think I have enough to do another another coaster so I have this little pyramid going here and the last time I used it I used silver and I just used that I didn't make that color it was left over from something else that I made but I'm gonna put this into there so I'm going to add some color to that. Let's go with Caribbean. And this Caribbean I got from glitterthis.ca. I haven't tried it yet, so. Well, I'm waiting for that to warm up a little bit. Just thought I would use my leftover resin. There. Some of that in there. Let's just see what that looks like. Okay, it um it really didn't color it much. Um well it did. But I thought it would be a little darker than that. So I think I'm gonna add some resin to it. I mean not some resin. Um some pigment to it. Um, let's go with this. So this I got it's from Let's, Let's Resin, and it's epoxy resin pigments. Now, when I got that, I thought I was getting alcohol ink pigments. But I didn't read it carefully enough, and it's they're just pigments. So, um, it's a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be. I'm just going to put one drop in here. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I like that. I'm glad I added it. Okay. That's pretty. Okay. And if this seems like it's starting to thicken up, so I think that's going to be ready pretty quick. All right, so... I'm just going to pour this in here. I don't want to throw it away. So I might as well make a pyramid with it. All right. Put that up there. Give that a spray. I'm just going to wipe off my stick. Okay. Oh. 
All right, I think, I think I'm just about ready to do that. It's so hard to tell. Sometimes I have really good luck with these flowers and other times not so much. And I really don't know if it's product I'm using or if it's how long it sits. But the last couple times that I did have good luck, the resin was getting warm on me. I mean, it's still not really warm. So for this, I've got the silver on the bottom and the blue on the top. And I think a darker blue might be nice for the bottom. So I will, next time I'm using a darker blue, we'll top that up. I'm just going to give it a quick spray because there's quite a few bubbles coming up to the top there. All right. All right. Maybe I'll do one right away and do one in like five minutes and see if it makes a difference. Okay. I'm going to cut the hole. Not too thick. You can always make it bigger. Can't make it smaller. Okay. So, start off by doing an upside down heart in the yellow. So, then you do an oval. And another oval and then two kind of hearts at the top and then she went around the center and then she did it again just to make it thicker I hope I'm doing you proud Kathy go okay and because I want to wait a little bit I'm going to hit this one with the heat gun just on low maybe I'll hit this guy too some more bubbles out of him okay going around to get it warmed up and I'll start to kind of push it in a little bit. Yeah, you can see it's some of them are starting to get that blooming effect going which is what I'm aiming for so that's great okay okay I am just going to wait five minutes and do the other one. All right, it's been five minutes. Still not hot, but it is starting to get a little bit warmer. So I'm just gonna continue on here with the other one. Okay. So again, we'll start with the bottom. This one I did a little bit different. 
and I'm gonna do another round make it thicker My cat is singing for us. <laughs> Not really, but all right. Okay. Now I'm going to get the heat gun again. Just on low. I tried to go, I forgot when I started, but I, I'm trying to go a little bit more out towards the edges this time. And you can see on my other one, it is um, doing the, the blooming. starting to really push around but my outsides are not really there yet so I'm just trying to work around the outside a bit alright All right, I'm going to leave it at that alright well I hope you enjoyed my video and tomorrow I will come and I will top these up to the top and I won't show you that process but it's just just topping them up and then I will come back and do the reveal for you all right I'm here to do the demolding of the pansies okay so that's what it looks like on the front and on the back like that so I definitely like the front the best and I just noticed that the other one unfortunately has a bubble on the top that wasn't there when I last saw it but came to the surface since so I may have to sand this one down I'm not too sure what to do with that one yet but um, yeah I, I kind of like how they turned out. They weren't, they didn't, um, they're not quite as nice of, as Kathy LaPierre's, but I do, I do really like them. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching my videos, and if you liked, please consider subscribing and hit the like button.